Claire, it's Hello. a very good chance to meet you here, here at Chelsea, which I guess is the deep end. Completely the deep end, the deep thrown end. in, not quite in the job yet, but how exciting to well, be look, here. I suppose the first thing that everybody would want to know about is are you a gardener? I have been a gardener since I was with my grandfather who grew his prize leeks. He told me there were prize leeks. I'm not sure I saw the prizes. Yeah. To yeah, it's 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 what I do. It's what I do right. when I don't go to work. Yeah. And and what is it that you like about gardening? I grow a lot of vegetables. It's mm. what I, I love to grow vegetables. Um, I think it's the nurturing. It's every moment of it, and it's 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 the change that you see. I suppose with vegetables, you see mm. it quite quickly. Mm. You can eat them at the end, You're which cook. is, you know, I'm not, I'm not a brilliant cook, but yeah. I tell you, I'm, I love to cook what, what yeah. I grow. We, yeah. we all grow it at home. And my kids now have got involved with it as well. And my son grows his chilies and he makes these hot chilli sauces. So mm. It's become a real sort of family thing. And, 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 mm. and, and you mm. know, we, yeah, it's something I love to do for my family, I suppose. And, but for myself, I, I, once I'm in my vegetable garden, I just forget forget the time you know and I you know they say to me mum where have you been all day yeah. and then I realize yeah. it's kind of seven o'clock in the evening and it's on a Sunday and I've been out there since nine o'clock in the morning I mean I've been a member of the RHS mm. since I think it's 1994 actually okay. and I I had a my first job my in London I had a little flat in Brixton tiny north facing garden knew I wanted to do something with it, didn't really know what I wanted to do, went out to Wisley, fell in love with kind of RHS Wisley, mm. and then joined and kind of just been a member ever since. So it's been a continuing thread through your working life. Now it's going to become to the fore of your working life. Yes. What, what do you want to achieve with that? Because presumably doing, taking on a job like this, which is a big one, and it's a challenge, you can't do everything. What are you going to focus on? So, look, I'm, I mean, I think I'm taking on a, an organisation that has just had a, you know, enormous sort of growth and success over the last few years. So, last ten years, you know, it, new gardens, um, you know, education programmes, and I think it's really then taking that sort of wonderful sort of foundations of this incredible organization and then how can we just take it out to more and more people young people I've always had a particular passion about young people young people today facing problems around mental health we know I know through my own children and their friends that the toll that sort of COVID has taken on but actually the kind of the issues of the planet I love nature I, I, I worry about our planet and actually gardening because people can be active, can do things, is where all of these things can come together. And, you know, it can be beautiful, it can be inspiring, it can be uplifting. So there's something for everyone yeah. in gardening. Whether you love delphiniums or whether you want to grow flowers that yeah. attract the pollinators because you're worried about the bees, there's actually, it's such a wide space, something for everyone and somewhere, actually, it's a connector. It's, it is actually one of the few things, perhaps, that can connect anyone and everyone. The RHS, you know, has been accused of being very white, very middle class, yes. very middle aged. Um, do you think that's fair? On... We've got to open it up for yeah. everybody. I mean, yeah. you know, and I, I it, 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 it's a challenge, it's an on, and an opportunity, but I yeah. think it's more of an opportunity. You know, yeah. people who love gardening, you love yeah. gardening, I love gardening. What we want to do is actually we want everybody to love share gardening, it. don't yes. we? So, yes. and it is a thing you can share, and you can yes. share in so many ways. You know, yes. you can share seeds, you can yes. share plants, you can share yeah. expertise. Yeah. So it is, it's such an easy thing to share. And, you know, in the RHS, I can, can be at the forefront of that. Ultimately, horticultural expertise is what the RHS is known for. And we must maintain that, but we must also make sure that we give so many people the opportunity to be part of that horticulture family. And I think that's what we can do. We've got gardens across the country, we've got community gardens, we've got volunteers, we've got members, and the world's our oyster. What I really want to do over the next few months is go out, talk to people, yeah. meet people, talk to other members, talk to all the yeah. wonderful kind of colleagues across yeah. the RHS, talk to our council members. There are so many people who've got connections and just listen. Actually, I want to do some listening, find out what other people have to say. Thank you yeah. very much indeed. And thanks for chatting. <laughs>